overnight line movers looking in the MLB. We got Sonny Gray opens as a favorite over the Cubs. And I'll tell you, Teddy, this is the one that kind of jumped off the page at me. What the heck is Cincinnati doing favored over the Cubs? Looking a little bit deeper. The offshore markets open minus 110, rose to minus 130. A couple reasons why here. Um, look, looks like 127 total of nine Darvish versus Gray. And it, it might have something to do with Rizzo, Teddy. Yeah, Rizzo doesn't look like he's going to play for Chicago. Uh, and when Anthony Rizzo's bat is missing, the market the markets will notice that. But this is everything to do with you, Darvish. The markets hate Darvish right now. You know, he leads the majors 33 walks in 36.2 innings. He went up against the Marlins last time out. Gave up one hit and still walked six batters in that ballgame. 11 walks, 11 strikeouts in eight innings this month. He's winless in two May starts at 6.75 ERA. Joe Madden's quote isn't a bet on quote. Quote. It's frustrating for him, of course. We've just got to keep working at it. I don't have any solid answers. He's healthy. The ball's coming out of the hand really well. He's just got to be more consistent in the zone. It's just not that complicated. Of course, if you're betting on Sonny Gray, recognize that he hasn't thrown more than 90 pitches in a game this season, and the Reds are 2-6 and six in his eight starts, although he is getting ground ball outs. The markets always like the pitchers who are getting the ground ball outs as opposed to the fly ball outs. Teddy, next game up, we got uh, Brewers trying to make it two straight versus Philadelphia. Gonzalez grabbing some some early action here. Looks like uh, Brewers versus Phillies. Phillies minus 111, total of nine. Uh, Gonzalez versus Arietta. What, what are you seeing here? Well, I mean, the markets are loving Geo today, which is something of a surprise. And he's been really good. You know, buck 69 ERA and three starts so far this season. Pitched into the sixth last time. Gave only two hits uh, against the Cubs. Here's Craig Council. Quote, Gonzalez is giving us a chance to win in every start. It feels like he's gotten better, really, as he's taken the ball every fifth day. He's been a big stabilizer. Jake Arrieta coming off a rough outing in Kansas City. The market's not liking him today again either. Teddy got one more here going to A-Town. The Atlanta Braves versus St. Louis Cardinals. We got the total opening at nine. Jumping to nine and a half here in SunTrust Park. Uh, looks like Braves minus 140 in Atlanta. Total of nine and a half now pretty much across the board. We got Waka. We got Soroka. Uh, two guys that have been shaky. Soroka, the the, the Canadian, is a, is a top-notch guy, but he's young. He's volatile. What are you seeing here in this total? Well, I mean, you know, Soroka's got a buck 21 ERA, but the markets don't like it. <laughs> you know, he's the, the numbers are really good, but... His ex-FIP, 3.51, more than two runs higher than his ERA. That means the mark is expecting a correction. And, of course, Waka, I mean, his strikeout rate is down. His fly ball rate is up. And every start he's had this season has produced uh, nine runs or more. This was the highest scoring game of the day in MLB yesterday. The overcast while Flaherty was still pitching a no-no <laughs> in the top of the fifth. Of course, he got bombed for three in the bottom of the fifth. But the bottom line is we've seen over money. I'm not surprised we've seen over money for this one. Market's not exciting about Waka at all. These are two lineups that have the potential to score runs in bunches.